You know what? I actually said in the beginning of this video that it is the day after Hall Halloween. Wow. You can tell I love the fall. It's the day after. Wow, I almost said Thanksgiving. I literally have issues. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Alexia here. If you're new here, thank you so much for watching. And if you are a subscriber or have watched my videos before, thanks for coming back. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing one of my highlight and shade videos and I'm just gonna kind of get ready. Everything that I use will be linked in the description box below if you're interested in it. I'll probably interject a little bit with products that I use and stuff like that. Also, filming on Valentine's Day, so you know I got like a little Valentine's Day setup kind of thing going on. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about Brittany Dawn. If you don't know who Brittany Dawn is, she is basically an influencer online, a fitness influencer. So she has a YouTube channel with about like 300 something thousand subscribers. And she also has um, like 500,000 subscribers on her Instagram. So a lot more on Instagram, but she's like a fitness guru or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and basically she has like, you know, a bunch of videos teaching you what to eat, teaching you how to work out, teaching you the best way to get the most benefit out of your workout and just all of that kind of good information you know if you want to lose a little weight or tone up or um better your workouts or you're eating a little bit better whatever so she also has like a website where she sells well, like merch and workout plans and stuff like that which a lot of these the fitness gurus have stuff like that um so she had meal plans like she had cheaper ones or whatever on her site you know just for okay this one's pre-made and all of that but she also had like basically like online fitness training and courses for like a hundred to like three hundred dollars she even had one for like brides or whatever you know to get fit before their wedding and these were like custom workout plans and everything like that so you basically will order this and she is supposed to go over like you know your weight and your goals and your age and all of that stuff and give you like a custom food plan and a custom workout plan and she also advertised that she will stay in contact with you you can ask her questions like any time of the day any time of the night and i think that kind of was her first mistake um you should definitely have like i'll get back to you within one business day or two or whatever so she's been selling these for years basically um these custom workout plans and stuff like that this is not like a recent thing or anything like that she's been um promoting this stuff for a while now recently the drama all popped off basically when a video surfaced of her at like a meet and greet or something like that and um, there is like an older man, well not older, a man, like a guy in like his 40s saying that she stole $200 from his daughter and that he wanted her to refund the money to his daughter. And it was basically his daughter subscribed to one of these custom workout plans and everything like that. And she, <laughs> she basically, is not customizing the plans to each person and she's not answering people and like when she does answer she'll just be like great job you're doing great you're doing program. amazing push, the, push this me out she doesn't give like what you would expect from like a fitness trainer or someone that you're paying to spend a little bit extra time and care on you and your goals when you're paying like a premium price you know so i think after this video kind of went viral basically a bunch of other people came out on youtube and they were kind of telling their experience with purchasing this custom program and everything like that saying that either you know she 
she ignored me she didn't customize the plan i didn't get like daily responses as promised and they even a bunch of the customers even went as far and made a facebook group and they compared their meal plans and they're basically exactly the same none of them got custom meal plans nothing like that so it's just a whole shit show <laughs> of just bad business and stuff like that so all of this drama has blown up recently and Brittany Dawn actually made a video. I don't even think it was considered an apology video. I think she titled it like everything that's been going down in the last week. So it wasn't really like an apology video, but that's what people are calling it. <laughs> okay, so I did my brows off camera because it's the same every time. I really need to make like a... Uh, brow tutorial video because I've had a few people ask. So I'm just using the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I actually really have been liking it. It's it's like one of the only liquid highlighters that I actually really like. The only thing is I have a hard time like powdering after using it because you don't want to powder. So I just kind of put it over powder sometimes. Like I put it on before and then I touch it up after because that's that's what I do so I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit with my sponge okay but anyways let's get back to the story so after all of this pops off in I guess a little dramatic on the internet the interwebs Brittany Dawn makes her video her apology video not official apology video but it's an apology video whatever you want to call it and People aren't liking it. Um, what I've noticed is that YouTubers, bigger YouTubers who have to make apology videos, like they really suck at apologizing and none of them have learned from like their, their uh, counterparts, previous apology issues and like went, well, let me do better. So, you know, this doesn't get even more scandalous and blow up in my face even more, but no, none of them do that. She basically gives like excuses like my business grew so fast that I didn't know how to handle it. When you're given an opportunity like this, you would be stupid not to take it and run with it. And unfortunately, I ran too fast for one person. These claims are coming from years ago after I got launched into a business that took off so fast that I didn't know how to mentally handle it. As I said, looking back, I had no guidance in how to run my business as a fitness influencer, much less on how to respond to negative comments aimed towards myself or towards my business. I was not only a coach, but also the sole content creator, customer service, business owner, YouTuber, financial advisor, and everything else that comes with every business. Now, like I mentioned a few minutes ago or a few seconds ago, she's been selling these programs for years. So she has had enough time to like build this up and figure her shit out. And people were even actually in the comments going, um, I bought this from you a few months ago and you still haven't like answered me or given me like a actual personalized plan you have not fulfilled your promise basically and when people are saying that they're saying that because she has been selling this these items these same like workout plans and everything like for years so you would think after a few years that they would have their stuff together you would think <laughs> people were also saying that she blocked customers for complaining like on social media and stuff which that's not a good look girl <laughs> that is definitely not a good look so i actually went to her website and she has all of the stuff taken off except for like the really cheap the really cheap workout plans that are not custom she took like all the expensive customized ones off you know what i just realized i have not bronzed or anything so after this apology video and everything like that people People don't like it because she doesn't just straight up like admit like, oh, I messed up. I'm so sorry. I will do whatever it takes. I will refund anyone who wants a refund or even like, hey, if you don't want a refund, like I will do better. I will totally email you. Let me know. Email me and tell me what you want as a customer. Like, um, 
she <laughs> she actually said in her video i believe it was in her video that she was going to have a she was going to have like an email in the description box and if you purchased it to please email that email with like proof of purchase and everything and you know we'll get that refund on the way everything like that um with that being said i created an email specifically addressing all complaints and i will list this email down in the description box below people aren't happy with this because <laughs> when they got the email response and everything from her it was basically we'll give you like a 25 percent refund and you have to sign a nda um if you don't know what an NDA is, it's a non-disclosure agreement, which basically means that if you agree to get a refund, then you agree that you will never publicly talk about this again. So basically, if you get your refund, you're not allowed to speak about your experience at all. And mind you, you're not even getting a full freaking refund, which... I had I saw a few people commenting in the comments that that is not even legal like when it comes to a product a product that you bought and you want a refund for it like a, like a non-disclosure wouldn't hold up in a legal process because someone's a few people said that but I don't I did not verify if that was true or not I just thought that was kind of interesting um but people are really pissed about this and I understand that because it just makes her look so snaky and just so just give people their refunds and treat them right <laughs> just give people their refunds like they're probably gonna talk about you oh well get over it when you mess up like that like you I don't know it just it made her look 10 times worse people are even more mad all in the comments everyone is like do not sign a non-disclosure do not sign a non-disclosure because that is just people are going to talk about you being a bad business owner even more now because you want people to not to be able to talk <laughs> about their bad experience with your really shitty customer service and you're literally trying to solve your shitty customer service issues with more shitty customer service it just it doesn't work especially if you have a big name or a big brand like people are going to people are gonna talk about it okay like really I don't know what her or like her legal team were thinking okay let me get an eyeshadow palette I think I'm gonna use this sugar palette from Shop Hush. Another thing about her apology video is um, for some reason, I guess she thought this would like get sympathy for her, but for some reason in her apology video, she thought it would be like this really great idea to mention that like one of her fans who she helped or something like that um, was diagnosed with cancer and that she thought she was just such a great person. Months previous to this, I had actually been in contact to resolve an issue with a sweet girl who was a, who was a previous client of mine. She had brain cancer at one point in time. We talked through things and now I am so incredibly blessed to call her a friend. Um, like what, what does that have to do with you selling a product <laughs> and not fulfilling what you promised within said product? I don't, I get it. She's trying to get sympathy and make herself look like a good person. Like she cares about someone with cancer, I guess, but it just, it makes you look worse, honestly, because now you're just, you're just kind of like exploiting someone with cancer and you're just using them. So it, it really makes her look bad. It doesn't make her look good in any way. People also didn't like about her apology video that she was reading from her iPhone and everyone is like, okay, you're a lawyer or someone wrote this for you and you're literally just reading it. I'm just like, okay, go on to camera and just straight up apologize. People just say, I'm so sorry. I let everything get ahead of me and I don't want that to be an excuse. It's totally my fault. It's all on me and I'm going to make things better. I'm going to do better. If you want a refund, take your refund. If you don't want a refund and you want me to prove myself to you, then great. And if I do not satisfy you, I will refund you after that. Like that's all she had to say. You don't have to go on camera with these tears and stuff. Like I get it. This is a situation where you probably cry, but like, but like don't cry on camera. No one feels bad for you because you are not the victim. You're the offender <laughs> like so her excuse is kind of uh 
basically her reasoning for why she is such a shitty business owner and treats her clients badly even though they're paying her like huge amounts of money for most people like three hundred dollars is expensive for most people that's like a car note i mean they're really trusting her with their money and with their health so her excuse is that my business has grown super super fast and i didn't know how to handle it and Everyone kind of figured like that's a lie because she's been doing this for a few years now and she still is not having her stuff together. Um, but even then, that's not an excuse because you as a brand, even if it starts growing really fast, you only take in as much as you can handle and you start hiring people to help you if you need help. Like she could have even changed the wording of her plan as she brought more people on and said, me or someone from my trusted team will be there to respond you, respond you, <laughs> respond to you if you ha ever have a question about anything. And from the start, I mean, I don't know when, how many, how much influence she had when she started selling these plans, but I'm guessing she had over 100,000 followers on YouTube and on Instagram, like her both of her platform. But when she started this, I just, I just don't get why. This is my thing that I really have an issue with. Like, why did she, I mean, I guess I know why she's greedy. Why didn't she set a freaking inventory limit? Say, okay, it's just me right now. I can handle 10 people a month. That is still $3,000 that you didn't make the month before. And if you want to take more clients in, then you need to hire people and you need to pay more people. Stop being greedy. Just pay people to help you. It's crazy because she could make more money and have a good reputation now. But she obviously didn't want to pay people to help her out. Um... I just, I just don't get why she didn't set an inventory and just care just a little bit more. Um, it's not that difficult. And if you want to be greedy and make a lot of money, then cool, make a lot of money. But you need to hire more people if you cannot fulfill the promises. If she would have... I just, it's just so frustrating as like a small influencer because if I even had four people that really respected my opinion and would pay over even like $50 for my help for some sort of program or something, I would take it so seriously. I mean, you need to, these influencers really need to start respecting their subscribers more. And, you know, I'm not on the whole bandwagon of like, oh, they should have to answer every tweet in like, you know, some people are a little ridiculous and they feel like celebrities or influencers like owe them something. Like you do owe them something if you sell them a product and make them a promise and everything like that. You know what I mean? So she does have an obligation to these people. But like, I just don't get how people just don't respect their subscribers. Their subscribers that helped them literally have the job and lifestyle that they have because she could have totally done a $300 customized plan and everything like that if she hires help and just don't over promise and say all the answers are going to be just from you you just need to say like look I have people that I really trust that talk to me and they'll answer your questions for you you know what I mean like people understand that one person can't do everything and it's just such a simple solvable problem that could have been so avoided i also think that her promising to be able to answer like any time of the day was super irresponsible even if you only have like three clients like come on any time of the day that's ridiculous you should say i'll answer you um within like these business hours within one business day so like come on you're just overselling at this point 
something that's not even possible. One thing that I will side with her on though is in her video, I don't know if this is true, I actually scrolled through the comments because I was interested in what other people are saying about this and she said that she has been receiving death threats and her family has been receiving death threats and all of this stuff and just please uh, ask for you guys to leave my family and my friends out of this and for the death threats to stop. Um, I honestly think that when big YouTubers put this in their apology videos, like that just is gonna make it worse because you're giving new people ideas. But she did say that she was receiving death threats and she said like, please stop. And I totally agree. Like if you're sending people death threats, you need to be checked mentally okay because like there is there is like no reason to send death threats to people you have a serious issue within yourself you have a serious issue within yourself if you think that it is okay to send death threats like don't send death threats to people that is like so shitty so that is the one thing that i will stick up for her about is she shouldn't have to live in fear i mean she didn't murder anyone or anything like that she shouldn't have to live in fear because of the stupid decision she made. You know what? I actually said in the beginning of this video that it is the day after ha Halloween. Wow. You can tell I love the fall. It's the day after. Wow, I almost said Thanksgiving. I literally have issues. <laughs> that is the day after Valentine's Day. But I think I'm just going to edit this video and get it up on actual Valentine's Day, why not? I got time today. Okay, so I just put my lashes on. These are the Scarlet Lashes from Shop Miss A. Um, best lashes, like, that was like $6, that whole pack. It's amazing. What lip? Maybe I should do like a, like a red lip, cause uh, it is Valentine's Day after all. I like the shade on me though, like, I never like it. Hmm. It's like pinky color. I really don't like colors like this. We'll try this color. We'll just try it. It's the shade Tuesday by ColourPop. It's their ultra matte lipstick. Okay, so I don't know what is going on with my lip shape today, but we're just gonna rock with it, okay? So, let me spray some of my setting spray and um, go over my final thoughts. So basically my final thoughts are, I don't think that like Brittany Dawn is like a horrible person or anything like that. I actually don't even think she set this whole program up going, I'm gonna scam people. I'm gonna like do the least amount of work and get the most amount of money. I think she might have had good intentions going into it and it did get ahead of her, but I don't think she handled it well at all. Like I'm not making an excuse for her. I just don't think she's like an outright like, I'm a scam artist, I'm gonna scam you guys. You know what I mean? But I do think that she didn't care enough. She didn't care about her supporters enough. She didn't care about her clients enough. And she still doesn't care enough um, because of the 25% refund and the NDA BS. Like, whoever is advising her is doing a really shitty job because they're making her they're making her look even worse but um i think she was ignorant to running a business and didn't have like help and maybe didn't want to pay for help or get the help that she needed or maybe she had help and they were giving her really bad advice um i think she could fix this i mean her her Reputation is definitely tarnished, but I do think she could fix this the right way. I think she should say, I'm going to refund everyone 100%, and I don't think that they should have to email her first or anything like that. I think that, you know, like, I've, I've worked with Shopify before. You can literally go in and click refund on an item. So she can see who bought what, when they bought it, everything like that. And I think that... She should just refund all the like $100 and up ones for the past year. And maybe the people that are previous to that, they should have to email maybe because that was a long time ago. I also think that she should offer like, hey, if you don't want a refund, 
let me let, let me show you that I'm willing to help. I'll give you half of your money back and I will literally answer your emails every day for six weeks. Because I don't know what the like setup of this program was, but it sounded like indefinitely. Like $300 isn't enough for indefinite support. Should have been like a six to 12 week program where you get her attention three times a week during these hours. And she, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It could have been avoided. There's so many ways to set a program like that up and she just didn't care enough in my opinion. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.